it's monday right what's up youtube and thank you for tuning in to the channel you are back for another mental champion monday okay now today's topic is a touchy topic but it's something that definitely needs to be talked about we are talking about not being discouraged due to the popularity of whatever field it is that you are working in right now Before we get into this topic if you are new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button also click that notification bell so that you're notified anytime i drop a video especially the mental champion monday thoughts these are my favorite videos to make just because of the information that i get to put out into the world so i hope everybody who has been receiving these messages and been watching these videos are able to kind of take the advice and whatever knowledge i give and just elevate their lives and reach another level and uh manifest whatever goals they're trying to accomplish monday's a good day to start off the week with some motivation just to get you through the whole week and keep you pushing especially today's topic where we're going to be talking about remembering our whys remembering that our work is our work remembering to believe in ourselves and believe in everything that we put our hands on because we are that special and because we are that gifted in those fields I think today's topic is a good topic that needs to be covered because I've talked to many entrepreneurs and just people who are have started new journeys in different fields who are feeling some type of discouragement just because there's so many people doing the same exact thing. There are so many people in that same exact field and not only have I had those conversations but I too myself have been feeling kind of down and a little lost to exactly what I'm supposed to be doing just because I see so much of the same thing and for me I'd like for my work anything that I create to be very individualized and for people to see it they know exactly who created it they know exactly what it stands for and what it represents so this topic was something good for me to go ahead and research and then get that information and not only apply it to myself but to anybody else who's out there struggling with any discouragement or anything that's stopping you from chasing a goal or chasing a dream or entering a field or training for a certain sport or wherever, whatever it is just because you see so many people doing it. So the first thing that I think you should revisit when you are feeling discouraged is to remember your why. Why did you start your business? Why did you start training for that sport? Why did you go ahead and invest in that? What motivated you to do that and not only what motivated you then but what's motivating you currently to get up and still chase these dreams still go out and create these ideas and create these products for these businesses or offer these services what motivation is it every single day that wakes you up and pushes you towards being successful in that field that's something that you need to remember every single day remember your why remember why you started because when you remember why you started it helps you remember the vision it helps you remember the bigger picture at the end the second thing i think you need to remember is remember that your work is your work what you do and how you do it can only be done by you nobody can do what you do like you can remember that yes everybody is starting their business yes everybody is training for that specific sport yes everybody is creating content but these people aren't the same entrepreneurs as you that person is not the same athlete as you that person is not the same artist as you so you have to remember that and be so confident in your craft that you study your craft you grow your craft and you learn your craft so that you know okay yeah this person or these people may be doing the same exact thing but my work will stand out because i know what i'm doing or because i believe in what i'm doing do not shy away from a field because it may seem over populated remember the special spin special sauce special flavor that you put on that field and carry that out with confidence every single time you drop something every single time you go to train every single time you go to create something believe in yourself and remember my work is my work what i do is what i do and nobody else can do it like me that's real and three What's gonna help you stand out is gonna be your passion. Your passion is going to show authenticity. Make sure that you love what it is that you're doing. And like I always say, if you're not doing what you love, then what are you doing it for? That is a quote that I feel is so relatable when it comes to just anything that you create, anything that you put your hands on. If you're not loving it, if you're not putting love and passion into that, what are you doing it for? Because if you check out some of the older mental champion videos that we've dropped a couple weeks ago we talk about how 
you have to love what you are doing in order to enjoy it if you don't love it or if it's not something that you enjoy doing it you're going to dread doing it and it's not going to be fun the people who are creating these ideas and creating these businesses and training for these sports and creating this content with passion and chasing their dreams and purpose with passion those are going to be the ones that you see in the end those are going to be the ones that are going to be successful because your passion is going to outlast anything that's temporary and four make sure that you believe in yourself make sure that you study your craft make sure that you learn your craft and make sure that you perfect your craft when you are looking for advice or you're looking for guidance or a mentor for someone who's doing exactly what it is that you want to do do not show up with questions empty-handed do not show up seeking advice empty-handed for me if somebody's coming to me and asking me questions about fitness how do i become a personal trainer or how do i start my clothing brand or how can i make this shirt or this hoodie i would much rather you come to me with a shirt or a design that's not where you want it to be or let's say you designed a shirt and it didn't come out how you wanted it to or you messed a part up i'd rather you come to me with some type of substance some type of creation i'd rather you come to me with something that i can give you feedback on make sure that you come with some type of work make sure that you are showing that person that you are not trying to ride their exact way you are not trying to replicate exactly what they are doing but instead you like what you see that they are doing and you want to know okay here's what i have here's what i'm doing is there any advice or feedback that you can help me to get to the same level that you are but don't ask them exactly how they got there ask them about their advice ask them about their process ask them about any type of knowledge or lessons that they can teach you based on their experiences and most of the time people who have reached a certain level or have advanced in whatever field it is I know especially for me the minute that I learn something I want to share that knowledge with somebody else or the minute that I research something and then find it to be true or I go ahead and take on okay somebody told me to do it like this I take on this certain procedure or these certain steps and it comes out the correct way I'm ready to share that with somebody else so most of the times we want to share this advice most of the time we want to uplift everybody and the best way to do that is by taking something that you have already created and making it better for me i'm always going to give out advice i'm always going to give out knowledge based on my experiences and i'm always going to teach based on what i know it's just part of my journey and part of me elevating i can't elevate if i don't bring other people up with me and sometimes it's those same people that i bring up with me or that I help that ends up helping me so it just becomes like a circle kind of thing and I really believe in karma what you put out is what you're going to get back in so always remember that put in the effort put in the work if you're going to ask for advice make sure you have something worth giving feedback on and do not get discouraged if your field becomes overpopulated or do not get discouraged if so many people are doing the same exact thing that you are doing you are special you are an individual remember your why remember that your work is your work remember that your passion is going to show authenticity and remember to believe in yourself regardless of what's going on around you get so consumed in yourself and your craft and your work that what other people are doing is unwavering to you because you're so strong in your very own foundation if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss any more mental champion monday talks and also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below and I will reach out to as many people as I can. I thank you all for tuning in to this video. I'll see y'all on the next one. back with another mental champion monday and this one is real make sure that you go over to the youtube channel and check it out check out all the mental champion mondays the purpose of the mental champion mondays is for people to be motivated at the beginning of their week to have them push and achieve their goals by the end of the week i think it's important to take my experience and take my knowledge and put it into as many people 
as I can just because with 2020 and everybody becoming entrepreneurs and everybody creating their brands, I think it's a lot of information that people don't know. And with this video, I just want to go ahead and get that information out to as many people as I can in a positive way. So again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. You can find me on Instagram at Breezy the G. You can find the brand at Never Surrender 4. Don't be afraid to reach out. I'm a very helpful person. And uh, I mean, the worst thing I can say is no. is going to show authenticity <laughs> your passion is going to show authenticity your passion is going to show authenticity your passion